Hi, and welcome back to Jet Admin Tutorials. Today, I'm going to show you how to use charts to create a dashboard for your app. Now, Jet Admin has a number of charts that you can use in your app, including line charts, bar charts, pie charts, donut charts, radar charts, bubble charts, and others. Uh, today, I'm just going to use three of those, which is to say a line chart, a stacked bar chart, and a pie chart. So let's get started. The first thing that you need to do when you want to set up a dashboard with charts is to connect your data source. Now, once you've done this, it's important to double check your data types. Make sure that you do this in the data editor because you can change data types in tables in your app, but any chart that you create will be referring to the resource and not to a given table in your app. So what kind of data types should you fix? Well, for example, if you have all of your prices in one field, but that field is a text type, you're gonna to wanna to change that to a number type. Another common example for this is dates. Dates should also be a date and time type and not a text type. Okay, so once you've got your data source connected and all set up, it's time to start building your dashboard. I'm gonna start with a line chart. I wanna have a line chart on my dashboard that shows total sales over time. The first thing is just to drag and drop a line chart component into the app. Once the component is there, you want to click on the data set. Here, you're going to choose your resource and collection. And then in this case, because I'm using a line chart, I need to choose my Y axis and my X axis. For my Y axis, because I want to show total sales, I'm going to click on sum of and choose my order total field. Then for my X axis, I want to choose created, which shows the date that the order was created. Here you can choose whatever time interval you want, but by default, a button that allows you to change that interval is already going to be in the chart. If you want to remove that, it's in the display section of this component. So you'll see two other things in this menu, data set breakdown and filters. You can add a filter to choose specific information from your data set to display in the chart. For example, I could choose to display only the total sales of this particular product, uh, or I could exclude a particular product from this chart, um, depending on if I choose equals or excludes or is one of or whatever logical operation I would like to use for my filter. Data set breakdown allows you to split up the data that is displayed in the chart. Here, I'll use it to display the total sales to each client separately. That way I can see how my sales to a given client change over time. One reason the data set breakdown is a cool feature here is because if you look at my chart, you'll see a legend that appeared at the bottom with the name of my different clients. I can click on the name of each client to turn that data on or off in the chart. So if I only have sneakerhead selected, my chart will display total sales to sneakerheads over time. The next chart I wanna to add to my dashboard is a stacked bar chart. I wanna have it do a similar thing, which is to say to show sales over time, but there will be two differences here. One is that I want to show the breakdown by model instead so that I can see which products are selling at which times of the year. And the other thing is that I want to connect it to the table that I have at the bottom of my dashboard so that if I select a row in that table, the chart will update to show only the information about sales to the client in that selected row. Because I want to look at sales over time again, I'm going to go through much the same process as before. I will drag and drop the chart into my dashboard. Then I will click on data set, select the resource and collection, and then so that my Y axis and X axis to show sum of order total and created, which is to say the date the order was created respectively. However, I'm gonna change the data set breakdown to name, which is the name of the model of the sneaker so that my stack bars will be broken up by model name. Great, so how do I connect this chart to my table so that when I select a row, only the information about the client in the selected row will be displayed? Well, that's where filters come in. I'm gonna click on add filter, and then I will choose client equals. And then in the value field, I'm going to go to my orders table and choose selected row, and then the client field from that row. The last thing I'm going to add to my dashboard is a pie chart. Uh, I want a chart that is going to show me how my team is doing, which is to say specifically what the status of my orders are. So I wanna be able to see very easily which orders are completed, which ones are processing, which ones are failed or on hold, and so on and so forth. I'm gonna go through the same process as before, drag and drop the component in, click on data set, 
choose my resource and collection. And in this case, because I want to know how many orders have which status, I'm going to click on number of records and then group by status. One last thing that I want to add here is that you can add multiple data sets to the same chart. However, you're not going to be able to do it with charts that are already complex. What do I mean by that? I mean, this stacked bar chart will not take another data set because it, it will just won't be readable. Um, same goes for this line chart. But if I take away the data set breakdown and I just have my total sales, I can easily add another line that would display some related data that I have in my resource. So to do this, simply click on the chart that you want to use and then under data sets, click add data sets and then go through the same setup process that you did before. So that was a quick walkthrough about how to set up a simple dashboard for your app in Jet Admin. If you want to learn more about how to use charts, or perhaps you want to learn more about a specific type of chart that I didn't cover here, please feel free to check out our documentation. I've left a link to it in the description. If you do have any other questions, uh, you can always check out our community page or write to customer support in the app itself. Thanks for stopping by and I hope to see you next time.